Scorpio, you need to know this right now for January the 6th through January the 7th, 2024. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Leo for January the 6th through January the 7th, 2024. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Leo for January the 6th through January the 7th, 2024. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Leo for January the 6th through January the 7th, 2024. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. So... Leo, okay, let's just get this right. Leo, these are your cards, honey. So, Leo, you have the Nine of Wands, Aries, Leo or Sag. This is you being guarded and standing your ground. You have a stance. You meant what you said. You said what you meant. You're not willing to bend, concede, meet halfway, eye to eye, or anything. But this is also a card of you saying, you know what? I'm tired. I'm wounded. I'm down for the count. But I still have a little fight in me left. I'm not giving up. Being persistent. But this is also a card of you having your walls up, your guards up. You're not trusting. A little suspicious, a little paranoid here. So, Leo, you can tell me that you're highly suspicious. You have your guard up. You don't trust. You can tell me that you're guarding something. You can tell me that you're going to be persistent or you're standing your ground. Clarify the nine of wands for Leo. Clarify the nine of wands for Leo. Clarify the nine of wands for Leo. It is clarified with the star. Could be dealing with an Aquarius. But the star symbolizes having hope, having faith, healing, getting your wish, being divinely guided, following your destiny. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, but you can tell me that you're getting your wish, following your destiny. You can tell me that you need to heal individually on your own. Or you're holding out hope and faith that you guys can heal things, mend things, work things out, and reconcile. Clarify the star for Leo. Clarify the star for Leo. Clarify the star for Leo. It is clarified with the Six of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is moving away to calmer waters. Moving away to a place of peace. So either mentally or physically, you're wanting to move away. Now this can speak to if you guys had any type of disagreements or arguments between you. Agreeing to disagree. Letting bygones be bygones. And moving away to a place of peace and harmony together. Or this is you saying you just want to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship. So Leo, you can tell me that you're physically moving or traveling. You can tell me, hey, let's just put it behind us and move away to a place of peace and harmony together. Letting bygones be bygones. Or you're saying you just want to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship. Now, Leo, you could be physically moving or traveling. The star is also a travel card here. You could be determined to make some type of move or travel here. Maybe not letting anyone know what's, where you're traveling to or where you're going. You can tell me that, you know what, I'm going to be persistent here, not give up because I want us to heal things, mend things, work things out, and just put it behind us and move away to a place of peace and harmony together, letting bygones be bygones. Or you're saying, you know what, I don't trust something. I'm standing by what I say. I'm just going to heal individually on my own and just move out, move on, and move away from the relationship. Leo, you have the four of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you holding back, holding off, keeping something close to your chest. Now, this is also a card of a miser, a penny pincher. Someone who's holding back their coins, saving their money, being stingy. Someone who's closed off, blocked off, not opening up. So, Leo, you can tell me that you're closed off, blocked off, not opening up. 
You can tell me that you're holding on to your coin, saving your money, being stingy, or you're keeping something close to your chest here. Clarify the Four of Pentacles for Leo. Clarify the Four of Pentacles for Leo. Clarify the Four of Pentacles for Leo. It is clarified with the Hierophant. Could be dealing with a Taurus. But the Hierophant speaks to the leader of a religious organization, the leader of a metaphysical organization. This is a clergyman, a pastor, a preacher, a teacher, a coach, a mentor, a counselor, someone of wise counsel. This is the institution of higher learning. This is a corporate institution. This is the marriage card. Could be dealing with a Taurus, but you guys may be in a commitment. Someone may have commitment on the brain. This can be about forgiveness. This can be dealing with an institution, organization, governmental agency, religious differences, or values. Clarify the Hierophant for Leo. Clarify the Hierophant for Leo. Clarify the Hierophant for Leo. It is clarified with the Page of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is immature, premature communication. But this is also you spying, researching, investigating, looking into someone, looking into someone's social media, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, riding past someone's home, riding past someone's job, asking a friend of a friend of a friend. This is you doing your due diligence to gather information and research, looking into something. So Leo, you can tell me there was some immature, premature communication had here, or you went looking and spying. Clarify the page of swords for Leo. Clarify the page of swords for Leo. Clarify the page of swords for Leo. It is clarified with the lovers. Could be dealing with a Gemini, but the lover says, you know, I breathe you in, you breathe me in. We are so magnetically attracted to one another. We cannot get enough of one another. Babe, I need to make a choice. So Leo could be dealing with a Gemini, but you can tell me that you guys have this strong twin flame magnetic pull. You can tell me there's another other lover, but the lovers could also be a partnership with work or business. Clarify the lovers. For Leo, clarify the lovers. For Leo, clarify the lovers. For Leo, it is clarified with the emperor. Could be dealing with an Aries or a Taurus, but the emperor is someone who runs empires. This is a boss, a business owner, CEO, independent contractor, manager. This is usually an older gentleman. It doesn't have to be, but someone who's wise yet stern. Someone who wants complete control and authority. Could be dealing with this Aries or a Taurus. Could be dealing with a spouse because the emperor is a married, stable, committed person. Could be dealing with the parent of your child because the emperor is a father figure. Could also be dealing with someone you work with or do business with here. Yeah. Clarify the emperor for Leo. Clarify the emperor for Leo. Clarify the emperor for Leo. It is clarified with the sun. This is you, Leo, but the sun symbolizes exuberance, illumination, happiness, joy, peace, love, abundance, growth and development and freedom. So Leo, this is you. Clarify the sun for Leo. Clarify the sun for Leo. What about Leo? What about Leo? Clarify the sun for Leo. It is clarified with the page of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is news or a message about a solid, stable, committed offer. Now this can be the news about an offer for an invite out for dinner and a movie. This can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus, a high ticket item purchase. A new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, anything of value. This is the news or message of it. So Leo, some type of news about practicality, money, assets, resources, property, accepting a gift, giving a gift, going out on a date, or commitment. Clarify the page of pentacles. For Leo, clarify the page of pentacles. For Leo, clarify the page of pentacles. 
a Leo. It is clarified with the Four of Wands. Aries, Leo or Sag. This is the structure, the foundation of a solid, stable, committed relationship. This is leveling up the relationship. This is the marriage ceremony card. Now, we could be speaking of a celebration, a birthday party, anniversary party, baby shower, the home. But this is the marriage ceremony card. So, Leo, this can be about your foundation, your stability. This can be about commitment, marriage, leveling up. This can be a ceremony, celebration, or even property. Now, Leo, this very well could be about some news about practicality. Could be work or business, some type of partnership here, dealing with an institution, organization, governmental agency. You can tell me that this is about your financial stability and you're saving your money. You could also tell me that you're keeping it close to your chest, that you're looking for something else something better something more stable something more financially stable however leo <clears throat> you could also tell me that you're closed off concerning commitment or leveling up or any news concerning commitment because you may have discovered that there was another other lover here you may feel like they were dealing with someone that they have history with baby mama baby daddy something that you're suspicious of Leo, you have the Knight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is someone coming into you or you're coming into someone to bring something more solid, stable, and secure. Now, this can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus, a high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, anything of value. But it's on the slowest moving night in the deck. So having anything solid, stable, secure, and long-lasting is so slow coming to the point where it seems like it's not coming at all. So stability or commitment has been halted here. So Leo, you're telling me that everything has come to a screeching halt? Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Leo. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Leo. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Leo. It is clarified with you, Leo, strength. The universe is calling for you to have strength, courage, determination, motivation to keep moving forward and to do the right thing. But this is also a card of you trying to tame your lust, tame your passions, trying to restrain yourself, restrict yourself, and hold yourself back from something. So, Leo, this is you. Clarify strength for Leo. Clarify strength. Leo. What about Leo? What about Leo? Clarify strength for Leo. It is clarified with you, Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius, the Queen of Wands. This queen is a very fiery, feisty, bold, and confident energy. Someone who handles their business with a lot of passion, effort, and energy. So again, Leo, this is you. Clarify the Queen of Wands for Leo. Clarify the Queen of Wands for Leo. What about Leo? What about Leo? Clarify the Queen of Wands for Leo. It is clarified with the Six of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is someone from your past. Flashback from the past. Full-fledged in the flesh. Someone from your past is back. Now, you can be reminiscing on someone from your past, remembering someone from your past, but something or someone from the past is being revisited. This is twin flame energy. This is reconciliation energy. So, Leo, listen, you can tell me that you're having feelings of nostalgia, wanting to reunite with this person from your past. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> you can tell me that someone from your past is in the picture. Someone from their past is in the picture. Something from the past is being brought back up here. Or this involves children. Now, Leo, listen, you can tell me that, yes, you guys are stagnant, but maybe they're trying to reunite with you and you're resisting. You can tell me that your must and strength and courage to reunite with this person. However, you can tell me that something from the past is being brought back up here that is causing you to go stagnant with this person. I, I'm not going to say I hope because I don't know what you're doing, but 
You could be going stagnant with this person and you're getting with someone else from your past. Leo, you have the fool. Didn't I see that already? No. Could be dealing with an Aries. But the fool symbolizes to take a leap of faith, take a chance, take a risk, and set out on a brand new journey. To do a brand new thing, sight unseen. Just throwing caution to the wind and just doing it. Could be dealing with an Aries, but you can tell me that, hey, I just want to up and do something, take this leap of faith, set out on this brand new journey. Or you're telling me that someone took a risk or a chance in you guys' relationship. Clarify the fool. For Leo, clarify the fool. For Leo, clarify the fool. For Leo, it is clarified with the Queen of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This queen is a very loving, kind, compassionate queen. This is a nurturing queen. This is the mothering energy. She's very intuitive and psychic, and she searches her emotions. Could be dealing with Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces, or someone with water prominent in their charts. However, you could be taking on the energy of this queen of cups, using your intuition concerning something, or searching your emotions concerning something. Also with the queen of cups, this is a mothering, nurturing energy, so you could be dealing with the parent of your child here. Clarify the Queen of Cups. For Leo, clarify the Queen of Cups. For Leo, clarify the Queen of Cups. For Leo, it is clarified with the King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This king is a very intelligent, analytical, and logical king. He only wants to deal with the truth, the facts, and the proof of the matter. So this is about truthful communication, and this is about making a decision. Could be dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or someone with air prominent in their chart. However, you could be taking on the energy of this king of swords, coming forth with truthful communication, or making a decision. Clarify the king of swords. For Leo, clarify the King of Swords. For Leo, clarify the King of Swords. For Leo, it is clarified with the Ten of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is financial success and abundance. This is where two people come together in a long-standing committed relationship, joining together their assets and resources to build something to pass down from generation to generation, creating a legacy. So we're speaking of marriage, commitment, home, family, assets, resources, property, inheritance, legacy. So Leo, this can be about your money, assets, resources, abundance. Very well could be that someone has commitment on the brain. But in tarot, tens are ending, so it could be an ending to you guys' commitment, marriage, living together situation, or family dynamics. So Leo, listen, you can tell me that you're using your intuition and searching your emotions concerning making a decision about commitment, whether this is taking a leap to go into commitment, or whether it's to end commitment because someone took a risk or a chance here. It could also be about you setting out on a brand new journey for your financial stability's sake here. Leo, you have the four swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you taking a break, resting, recovering, meditating, praying, recharging your crystals. So you can tell me that you guys are on a break. You can tell me that you're trying to recover or you're meditating on something here. Clarify the three of swords. For Leo, clarify the three of swords. For Leo, clarify the three of swords. For Leo, it is clarified with the king of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This king is a very loving, kind, compassionate king. He's fair and balanced in his emotions, but he does not wear his emotions on his sleeve. He's in complete control of his emotions. Could be dealing with Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces, or someone with water prominent in their charts. However, you could be taking on the energy of this King of Cups. Now, the King of Cups is someone with a great deal of emotions within them, but they're not outwardly expressing their emotions. They're masking their emotions or wearing a mask. Also with the King of Cups, this is a nurturing father figure, so you could be dealing with the parent of your child here. Clarify the King of Cups. For Leo, clarify the King of Cups. For Leo, clarify the King of Cups. For Leo, it is clarified with the Nine of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you being anxious, worried, stressed, 
replaying things over and over in your mind, losing sleep at night, worried about something. So Leo, you're all up in your head, stressed, worried, anxious, can't eat, can't sleep, bothered by something here. You know, Leo, I feel like you're ready to put something to rest, either with this commitment or with work or business dealing with your practicality. And I feel like you're trying to not let anyone see you sweat here, okay? You're trying to master your emotions concerning it. But I feel like you, you know that you're needing to start new, okay? You started off telling me, I'm just ready. I'm done. I'm like, I'm tired. Like, I am done. <laughs> I can't. I give. Uncle. Uncle. <laughs> Uncle. I'm just ready to be re released from this and put it behind me. I'm going to take a look at the situation ship for you, Leo. Now, this is just additional messages here. And it says, insatiable, unquenchable, wanting more. Insatiable, unquenchable, wanting more. What else? For Leo, it may be someone at a distance that you're trying to get to. What else for Leo? And it says, hamster wheel, surviving, daily hustle. Hamster wheel, surviving, daily hustle. The same old, same old. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. Leo, you need to know this right now for January the 6th through January the 7th, 2024. You guys, give me feedback. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. And follow me on Twitter at herimmortalmaj, M-A-J. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.